Welcome to Fix It. Uh, we're going to look at uh, Gmail, take a quick and dirty look at setting up uh, Gmail for a new user. Um, some little tips and tricks. Uh, first, we've got Gmail Manager installed in Firefox. Uh, we've got that shown down here. Um, but here's the uh, the inbox which you, uh, you first re receive. We're going to make some changes to that. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sync it up with uh, maybe an existing email address that we've currently got. Um, a quick and dirty way of doing that is going to accounts and import and set it up to send mail from another address. Now what I have done is set it up, set up an email address uh, to already forward to, uh, to this new Gmail address. Um, what that'll do is uh, wherever th that could be at a Hotmail address or a Yahoo address or, a, or a, uh, another account, what that'll do is it'll hit that server, it'll automatically bounce to this Gmail. What we're doing here um, is we'll be setting it up so that we'll be able to reply as if we were that other address. Um, now there's a verification that's required. Uh, what will happen is that uh, an email will be sent from, uh, from Google to that other address, which will then, as I said, will already be set up to forward to here, so that will be <coughs> arriving in our inbox here shortly. In the meantime, we're going to change a few settings. First of all, we're going to add a signature. We will also be adding or removing the web clips. I find them a little bit annoying. Going to labs, enabling a few of the uh, extra functionality which is available in labs. One of which I like is called signature tweaks, which will add the signature not at the end of the message when you've got a lot of replies and comments and replies. It'll go to the bottom, which is not for very much use. This will go at the end of your bottom comment or the latest email that you've made. And then we'll also add, go down to the bottom here, uh, Google Docs agent and Google Calendar agent. I'm going to save those changes. Now you've noticed uh, the change from before. We're not getting any of those uh, web clips up in this area here, which I find a little bit distracting. We've also got Google uh, Calendar listed up on this side here and below that Google Docs. So there's no Google Docs that have been created with this account. Uh, we're also going to change our settings one more time, just change our theme, give it a different look. It's on the fly. That simple. Now go back to inbox, we've got that new email arrived, this Gmail com confirmation. And we've got the uh, verification code. Settings one more time. Accounts and import verification box. Actually, we have it open already. Cut and paste that in and verify. So what that's done is allow us to send email and compose an email, not just as the Gmail address, but also as the alternative address as well. Um, what we're going to do now is send ourselves an email to demonstrate uh, some other functionality. And say we've received a email from a colleague that has asked us to perform a function. Um, what we can do is we can click on more actions and create a task out of that. And that will bring up the inbuilt uh, task function here. We can then apply a date to that. and a link to this related email. Now, so you can build up a task list here in uh, Gmail. That task list also syncs in with your calendar. We created uh, the task from that email, which links here, and we can link back to that related email. Going across the top, we've also got Google Documents. These are documents, these particular ones have been created on another user and then linked back to this account. We can also um, add uh, our own documents here, putting a Word, Excel documents, 
uh, then sharing those automatically with uh, other colleagues. We can import entire folders um, from our hard drive up into Google Docs and again share the, the, the folder and the, and the documents in those folders with our colleagues as well. We won't go into that too much, it's getting a little bit uh, too complex from a, from a very simple standpoint of uh, just a new user <coughs> wanting to get up and going with Gmail. When you also, uh, when you're using Gmail, for every new email that comes in, it applies those, uh, those people as contacts. Um, you can then build contact uh, groups of family, friends, co-workers, um, store that uh, data and information, their phone numbers, email addresses, locations, um, all within the Gmail system, which again will sync into calendars, sync into documents, sync into the full range of Gmail products or Google products. I hope that's been interesting and useful to those who are looking to uh, work with uh, Gmail and uh, uh, Google products. And uh, hope to see you for the next video.